After we left Blue Mountain Mist in Tennessee, we made the three hour drive to Conover, North Carolina. See, all I saw was the giant bushes baked bean can. I love bushes beans. Do I turn? No. Okay. You're going to Oh my gosh, I love bushes baked beans. When we arrived at the amazing Sweet Tea B&B, we dropped off our stuff and started the fun itinerary that owners Patricia and Ralph had in store. The first stop, Murray's Mill. We met up with Susan and Bo, who gave us a tour of the entire property. We don't want to spoil anything, because when you come to Catawba, where the mill is located, you can actually get a tour for yourself. But here is a quick snapshot. It's just off Interstate 40 along the banks of Ball Creek. The Historical Society has maintained the property to serious perfection. You can visit the 1913 John Murray House, which is still furnished as it would have been back then. And you can also check out the many other homes that are nestled on the property. That's been run by three generations of the Murray family, from 1913 until 1967. See that says number one. Uh huh. All of them had numbers. Now, if you find an old blue jar like that, it's got number thirteen mm -hmm. on the bottom. They work a little bit. It was a Habner, which was part you of. Can you come jump on the uh, stage? I'll take you. Okay. 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 Sir, 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 sir. Not a. We don't allow people on the rock. On the rock. We don't allow people on the rock. Yeah, it's too dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Can't be on the rock. After we toured some of the historic homes on the property, we got to go inside the mill itself. This was insane. Oh, and we even got to go out on the dam. If you want more history about Murray's Mill, visit their website, linked in the description box. Uh, really, yours is broken. You need a hand. Okay, yeah. After the fun tour of Murray's Mill and some shopping at the general store, we stopped by the Bunker Hill Covered Bridge. And then it was time for dinner. Patricia and Ralph took us to Fresh Chef, where owner Kelly picked out some yummy stuff for us to eat. First, fresh made guacamole and chips. Their yummy pimento cheese dip and some spinach and artichoke dip. For our meals, Patricia and Ralph went with their usuals. Kelly chose to serve Joni B the shrimp and grits, which they've made a mashup of New Orleans and Charleston styles for a whole new flavor combination. And then for me, it was the yummy scallops, served with fresh veggies and grits. Y'all, this is just the beginning of our North Carolina adventure, so make sure you subscribe so you can see the rest of this crazy fun journey. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button. And at 1,000 subscribers, we're doing a crazy giveaway, so make sure you get in on that, y'all. 
See you next time.